So the first thing on the um, threat landscape. So according to this website, um, WordPress Vulnerability Database, WPVulnDB.com, um, it identified there are 11,647 different vulnerabilities in WordPress, the core software, in plugins, and in different themes. So there's thousands and thousands out there of different vulnerabilities that hackers can take advantage of in order to gain access to your website. Um, just as a, a recent example, um, you know with the GDPR regulations, there was a plugin that was created um, to easily help website owners make their websites GDPR compliant. And that plugin was found to have had um, a vulnerability that would allow a hacker to get admin access to the website, right? So a hacker could simply scan your website, find out you have this uh, vulnerability, take advantage of it, and next thing you know, your website is down and, you know, it's been defaced, right? Um, so these are some of the threats that um, are, are in the WordPress uh, landscape, right? And WordPress, as we all know, is a market leader in the content management uh, space. It powers almost 60% of content management systems, which translates to 32% of all websites on the planet. Um, this is according to w3text.com. And therefore, it's a huge target for hackers, right? Um, hackers will attack w WordPress websites, both big and small, with over 90,000 attacks happening per minute. Right, you have, so you have two things um, at work here. You have a software that is very popular, that is used by all sorts of people, um, that therefore means it's a huge target, right? If you want to take over a website and you invest in exclusively attacking uh, WordPress websites, um, your chances of success are gonna be higher. It's kind of like why there's more viruses on the Windows platform than there is on Mac and Linux, because the target is much smaller. So because we're using the most popular website software in the world, it makes it a big target for hackers, right? Um, sorry, go back. Right, so therefore it's a huge attack. And then we have those 90,000 attacks going on every minute. So what some of these hackers do is they have um, automated software that simply scans the entire internet. So for example, if you are running that vulnerable uh, GDPR plugin, um, what these hackers do is they simply have web software that is scanning every website. So it checks, do you have this plugin installed? If you do, it's going to automatically attack your website. All right, so the landscape for attack is huge, and as well, um, the people who are out there who want to take advantage of you, they have lots of opportunity to do so. All right, so the top threats that we face, we have these brute force attacks, where simply the attacker would try different passwords in order to find one that works so that they can log into your, your system. Um, there are these file inclusion exploits. This is simply say, for example, on your website you have uh, a facility for, say it's an application form. Say you're running WordPress uh, for a school, for example. And people can apply and they can attach their um, school certificates as, as an attachment in their application. So a hacker can um, attach a malicious file, so something that's not what you're expecting. Maybe you're expecting a PDF or a picture or something, and they attach uh, something else, like a PHP file with code, and then that ends up exploiting a weakness in your website and granting them access. And then there's also X, uh, XSX and SQL injection, which are, are different methods of taking advantage of um, the way your website is built in order to gain access or to infect users of your website. All right. Next slide. So in order to protect your website, given this huge threat, what do you do? So there are a number of uh, different things that you can do. Um, there are a number of different practices that you can use uh, in terms of how you create your website. But today what I'll be addressing, because we want this to uh, be useful to people of uh, different skill levels regarding WordPress, um, an easy solution is security plugins. So there are a number of uh, different types of security plugins. Uh, for example, there's Jetpack, also Jetpack being one of the general sponsors for um, this WordCamp. Yay, Jetpack. Um, there's uh, Security Security, 
there's uh, VaultPress and also WordFence Security. Now, this is just a handful of, um, of different examples. I tried picking the ones that had um, the most downloads and the most stars on the uh, WordPress plugin repository, but there's loads and loads of different um, uh, plugins available for WordPress. So I would encourage you to also do some research in addition to this list. Right, so um, if you do choose to go with one of the plugins on the list or any other one that you find in your uh, research, there are some common features that you'd want to look for that make um, the plugin uh, as helpful, right? So number one is automated site backups, right? In as much as we may try to protect your website or you know, implement all the measures possible, you know, sometimes you may still get hacked, so it's important to always have up-to-date uh, um, backups of your website so that in the worst-case scenario, you always have something that you, you can roll back to, right? So that will save you a lot of headaches in terms of, um, you know, your, your website being productive for you so you could lose money in terms of uh, downtime or, you know, being a developer and, um, you know, your clients upset that their websites are now gone. Right. The second thing is also malware scanning. Again, you may already be infected or you may still get infected regardless of the measures that you may take. So you want to pick a security plugin that has malware scanning features. What this means is that you know the different files in your WordPress where you've, you have your different themes. What some of the hackers will do is they'll change some files in your themes or they'll change some files in your plugins. And then those changes are the ones that allow them to continue to uh, hack your website or have access to your website. So what the malware scanning does is it lets you know if any of your WordPress files have been tampered with by a hacker, right? So this will give you early warning of that. Um, the third thing is IP blacklisting, right? Which I think is um, pretty useful, especially regarding how a lot of hackers use automated attacks. So with IP blacklisting, what that means is um, the plugin will block access to IP addresses that are known to be carrying out malicious activity, right? So an IP address that's been used in other attacks, if that's known about, uh, the plugin can block it automatically. Um, there's also anti-brute force. Um, as I explained earlier, brute force is when a hacker will try password after password after password, essentially trying to guess your password, right? That's why we are advised to not have uh, dictionary words in, as a password, like, for example, having yesterday as a password, right? Because um, these automated systems, they'll try all the words in the dictionary, they'll try different combinations of numbers. So you want to have a feature called anti-brute forcing where after a set number of failed attempts at logging in, um, that person will be blocked for a certain amount of time. Um, also, there's the issue of automatic updates. So again, a lot of, as indicated earlier, there's thousands and thousands of um, vulnerabilities that are out there. And you want, and in order to, oh, I just, Okay, there are thousands and thousands of uh, vulnerabilities out there, and um, a lot of them are patched. So, for example, if you have that vulnerability in the GDPR plugin, um, it was updated and it was taken care of. However, in order to benefit from that patch, you need to update your plugin. So you need a system to make sure that everything is continuously updated, and a lot of these plugins do handle that for you. So now onto the meat and bones. We'll be doing a deep dive into the WordPress security plugin. Um, basically, it's a firewall and malware scanning plugin for WordPress. Um, it's available for free in the WordPress plugin um, directory. Um, though it does, so it, it has a freemium model, so some basic features are available for free, and then for other features, you have to pay for it. However, the free features, I think, are quite extensive and you will benefit a lot even if you don't get the premium one. It has over two million active installations um, and it is regularly updated. And when looking for uh, not only security plugins, but any kind of plugin for any purpose or any theme, 
you do want to look for a theme or plugin that has a lot of installations so you know that there's going to be a lot of support. If you run into issues with that plugin, you know there's a big community of users that you can ask uh, for assistance with. Right? Um, and as well, being regularly updated means that the next time you up, uh, up, upgrade your WordPress, it's likely that that plugin is going to continue working. So the first useful feature of um, WordFence is site scanning. So as I indicated before, um, it will automatically scan your website and your hosting for things like backdoors, um, vulnerabilities. So if there are vulnerabilities that haven't been exploited yet on your website but can be exploited, um, it will alert you to that danger. Um, it will alert you to um, other malicious things like, for example, um, malicious comments, right? So there's this technique that hackers use that they can use against your website where they can comment but with a funny link. So it's not necessarily hacking your website, but it was hacking users of your website. So it's also something that you want to guard against because if people are coming to your website and end up leaving with viruses, um, that doesn't bode well. Um, this is after a scan and it's um, basically showing us here that um, this plugin has a vulnerability and, uh, sorry, but yeah, that this plugin was removed from the WordPress database, meaning that you probably don't want to use it anymore which me because it means that it's no longer going to be updated and will eventually become a security danger to your website. Um, also telling us that the particular theme needs an upgrade. So basically, it gives you a summary and makes it easy to digest what the security issues are with your website. Um, it also has live traffic monitoring. So you can see in real time the visitors to your website and all the traffic that's going on. So here you could see someone from Brazil try to access the website, someone from Zim, etc., etc., and the times. So if you were attacked or an attack was happening, you would be able to see here, you can see like funny traffic. If there was a single person or a single you know, um, IP address continuously accessing the same resource, you can have insights into this and you can then take steps to stop it from happening. Um, also, WordFence gives you regular updates. I believe you can set the frequency of this to weekly or monthly. I had mine on weekly. And it basically summarizes what has been going on on your website um, and you know, just gives you an overview. Um, this was all of the protection that's happening, it, it's done automatically and in the background. So you can even ignore these um, if you want, but it basically just gives you a summary of what's going on. Well, probably not an, a good idea to ignore it if you are being attacked, but um, it's not as, uh, as intensive in terms of um, upkeep, right? So here in this summary, it, it tells us these are IP addresses that um, WordFence automatically blocked. You can see this one tried to access 700 times, which is not natural. So we can tell that this is malicious activity that should be, that should be blocked, right? It gives us regular email updates um, and the status of our website. There's also a useful feature called rate limiting. Again, it automatically blocks users after a certain number of failed um, login attempts. So blocking those um, brute force attacks we were talking about earlier. Here you can see it gives us a summary of the login att attempts. You can see successful attempts to log in. So you can even have auditability in terms of who was accessing your website. Are these IP addresses of you know, people you know, people who should have access to the back end of your website? Um, it also has IP address blocking, which is a very useful feature. Um, one useful application of this is if you are really security conscious, um, for example, what you can do is you can block access to your admin area and say, for example, you can have geographic access. So you can say, if you are based in Zimbabwe and all of your admins, you know that they're in Zimbabwe, you can block anyone who's not in Zim from accessing your backend, which will dramatically reduce like the opportunity for anyone to attack uh, your website. It means that any hacker who's not in Zim can never have um, access. 
Um, one also really good feature about uh, WordFence is they have the WordFence network. So basically everyone who has the plugin installed in their computer is part of this giant network that uh, is powered by artificial intelligence and shares information. So each w website running the plugin shares information about attack threats. So for example, if I'm attacked by a particular IP address and um, someone else, you for example, are using the Word WordFence plug plugin but haven't been attacked, because I've been attacked and WordFence has blocked um, that IP address for me, it blocks it for everyone. So even attacks that you haven't been subject to, you are protected from as a result of you know, being part of the WordFence network. And you can see here this graph that's um, showing it blocking about five million um, attacks an hour from the entire network of everyone who has the plugin installed. Right. So some further resources that you can use to um, protect your website or to audit the security of your website. Um, there's wpscan.com. Basically, you just put in the URL of your website and it's going to automatically scan your website and let you know all of the different security issues that you may have. Um, for the developers in the house, there's uh, codex.wordpress.org. You should be going there anyway, but um, they have this special section on how to harden WordPress and to make it secure. So this goes much further in depth than simply um, installing a plugin, but here you're securing it um, on the server level and on the code level. And we have wpbeginner.com. They have this article called um, The Ultimate WordPress Security Guide. Um, this one being more friendly to uh, users of all uh, skill levels, so you don't necessarily have to be a developer in order to um, benefit from this. Um, basically, this again guides you on different steps that you can take to uh, protect your WordPress website, make sure that it is um, absolutely as secure as can be. Um, there are some sources that are used in compiling um, this presentation. Um, thank you very much for your attention. If there's time for any questions, I'm willing to entertain questions. Um, if not, then we can speak during the break. Thank you very much.